Hey everyone, I'm Narv and welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, in this episode we're going to set up uh, rotor production, uh, which we're going to do... Hmm, we could actually do it right over here, I think. So let's just uh, put down an assembler and see what we need to make rotors. Uh, oops, I don't want that deleted again. So for rotors we need iron rods and screws and we need 132 screws a minute and 18 iron rods per minute so we're going to need to overclock a little bit uh, on all of them uh, all three production lines so we'll need to overclock our rod production to make screws we'll need to overclock the regular rod, rod production as well and we'll need to overclock the screw production a little bit just to make to make uh, this go at 100 percent but that's okay, we have plenty of uh, power shards, so uh, let's just do that. So, let's see, we're going to need three uh, constructors and an assembler. We could, I think we can fit it in here, maybe. Yeah, I think we can, let's just try it. Uh, so. We need an assembler, which could actually see how much space is there if we line it up. Let's line it up uh, like that. That's for rods. Then we need an assembler for rods going into screws. And we need an assembler for screws and put there. This would have to come out. Can it, I wonder if it can come out and go this way. It can actually. So uh, let's try it. Uh, that could come out like that and then go straight what up and let's try it again there it can And then we could put the assembler up here, or the uh, constructor, no, the assembler, here, like this. I think, maybe it's just a little bit too tight. Uh, I think it's a little bit too tight. Let's do it on the other side. Uh, so, over here I think we have plenty of room, so if we do like this, like that, we would actually even just make a bit of space in between just to identify where each area is, so something like that, and then put this here for the um, screws and then put the assembler up here somewhere something like that maybe Did that work I think that would work so we need we actually need a Mark III belt here, but we don't have that yet, so we'll just go with Mark IIs for now. Here we definitely just need Mark I, and here we just need Mark I. So yeah, this setup would work. And not look too bad, and not take up too much space. Yeah. 
Let's do this. All right. So we need to get some uh, iron going down here. And I just calculated uh, how much iron we're using. We're using 163 uh, iron ingots. 164, more or less. So I think we're actually okay to use uh, approaching others clearance that's this splitter that's really annoying i have to say that is really annoying uh, but it is what it is we'll just put the splitter up again uh, let's just uh, pull this uh, upper line out as well so we're past that um, it's uh, it's a little bit annoying that when you have the uh, the splitter quite close to to the to the next connection point it actually interferes that's uh, a little bit annoying to me but it is what it is so all right we have the iron going there and then we need to bring it down into a splitter all right there it will go. Well, standing. So, and we need another splitter. Right there. This. This. And bring that in there. Bring that in there. And then we need a conveyor pole, which we'll put here, I'm thinking. And we will get this going up. Uh, let's just uh, configure these. So we want uh, iron rods and iron rods. Oh, I didn't get that. Iron rods and screws and rotors. All right, and let's uh, hook them up to power as well, so we can see uh, what we need of overclocking. All right, on over that I think, and hook this up to there, hook that up to there, and hook it up there, and. Then we just need to hook these guys up as well, uh, so we can we can do that with uh, just a conveyor or a power pole right there, I think. And get this one over here, there, and there. Right. So they're producing. And let's see. You need 18 rods per minute. And right now we're producing. 15. So we need to overclock just a little bit by 20%, I guess. That would take us to 18% or 18 rods per minute. Uh, so that's good. And it brings us to 18 iron ingots. So that's 175. That's 183 that we're using. We can go up to 240. Uh, so here we need you to do 132 screws per minute, uh, which would be we need more than. I don't need more than 50 percent. I think. Just see. 136. Let's do. 135, so we don't need this one. Uh, we only need 132, so let's take it down to 47. 132.3, and you need 132, so that's perfect. Alright, and in order for this to do that, it needs 22 iron rods a minute. So this needs to be overclocked. 
and it needs to be 22 okay Two point five and twenty two oh five. So let's just see hundred and forty nine. Will that do it? Well, one hundred and forty eight. Twenty two point two. That's uh, gonna be as good as it gets, I think. Maybe let's just try one hundred and forty seven. Just for kicks. 2205, 2205. That's perfect. All right. So as we can see now, uh, we are running low on iron on this iron and goods on this belt, but that's because we don't have Mark III belts. So yeah, we'll we'll live with that for now. Uh, all right. Let's uh, get the conveyor pole up here. And we were up to what 173 with this and uh, 193 195 which means we still have 55 uh, iron ingots available when we get to our uh, mark 3 belt which can uh, power some production at least so all of this production that we're going, every single item that we can produce is now going on the bottom line. We haven't even, even started touching uh, the, the upper line yet. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, get this turned. I think like that. Because what we're going to do... Is... Take it over this way and then take it down here and start uh, actually take it over quite a bit more and then start another production line here going that way have the belt going that way the uh, the bus of the uh, ingots you might say going this way down and then coming back around and going up again so yeah this is looking pretty good. And we are producing rotors. Yes, we are. Outstanding. So let's uh, let's take the copper down here as well. Uh, we might as well do that. Uh, let's see, will it go this far? Yes, I'm pretty sure it will. Indeed. And then we need it coming around and being one apart like that and let's just try it will it do that nicely not as it is right now so let's get a pole in here uh, there I think uh, yes. All right. So we have that coming, and we still have room for the outputs to come along this way and go over in our storage building, which is going to be over there. So this is working out pretty nicely. Uh, whoops! I want to see that. We're not using that much power, but that is because. Uh, we're we're not uh, producing on everything because some of it is full uh, most of it is full actually but we will probably need to get uh, more coal going i'm i'm fairly certain that we will all right let's go have a look because if we if we look at what we can craft now uh, so basically we've we've set up production for everything that we've unlocked uh, so far in tiers one two and three so except for of course concrete and biomass which we do need to get going as well but that's a bit of a different setup and i have sort of an idea on how i want to do that so we've unlocked improved and 
melee combat in tier 4 already. Next is steel production and logistics, so let's see what we need for that. We actually already have most of what we need for steel production. And for logistics, uh, we have nowhere near what we need. Uh, because we need motors, which we can't even make yet. Uh, but So let's unlock uh, steel production. We just need some modular frames, which we can go and get. And the rest uh, we actually already have. So let's just throw it in there. And then go get some, uh, some modular frames, which is being produced in the factory now. And yeah, so what we could do is could just go while we're here, grab some wire and some cable because uh, we're running a little bit low on that, very low on wire, a little bit low on cable. Uh, so wire we have here. Oops, come on. Okay. And grab two stacks of wire, I think. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. And cable. I have a ton of that up here. And so let's grab a couple of stacks of that. And I think that's all we need for now. I don't think we actually need to be carrying around screws anymore, but it, because we all already uh, have them uh, being produced. Uh, and everything that they're used in is being produced as well. So we don't actually need to run around with uh, with any intermediate products, you might say. The screw, we don't use screws for building anything uh, uh, like building conveyor belts or building uh, assemblers or constructors or anything like that. So I really consider screws only to be in uh, like a, an intermediate product. All right, so we needed uh, frames, which is over here. Uh, let's grab those 50. And let's go unlock fuel production and see what uh, that's all about. Gonna be pretty exciting i think uh, steel production unlocks a lot of products that we can make uh, let's do it and launch that bad boy all right and that'll Milestone. take 10 minutes to return steel there goes the unlocked. pod foundry and improved miner included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines a collection of new more complex parts is now available for crafting Very cool. All right, so let's see what we unlocked. Uh, we can now produce... Uh, where does it start? It starts down here. So steel ingots, which take three iron ore and three coal to produce uh, two iron ingots. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, steel beams which require three iron ingots, steel pipes, right, one iron ingot, or steel ingot, in case industrial beams, four steel beams, and five concrete staters, whatever that is, a steel pipe and wire, so we're going to need more copper here, that's nice to see, and rotors and stator. For, for the motor and for the heavy modular flame frame we need modular frames steel pipe encased industrial beams and screws holy crap uh, that's gonna take some uh, some machines to do that Jesus but all right that's gonna be fun that is gonna be fun so okay very very cool so 
let's take a look at the new buildings. We have the new miner MK2, uh, which uh, extracts at 120 resources per minute. We need encased industrial beams and steel pipes for that. We're going to need to craft those. I think to start with, I'll craft a few by hand just to get some minor MK2s on our uh, our current mining patches, our active mining patches. All right, we've got the foundry. Well, it's two resources into alloy ingots. Okay. So this one is where we will be making our uh, steel ingots in the foundry. And that takes encased industrial beams as well, and steel pipe and concrete. Get anything else? Not there, not there, there. Nope, nope, and nope. Okay. This is pretty cool. So let's get steel going. Um, let's see, we have a ton of iron ore over here. In here, no, oh, that's iron ingots. In here, yeah. Uh, but let's clear out a bit of our inventory and grab some of our, all this ore, and then I think I will. Uh, I think I'll go handcraft some. Uh, grab those again. Uh, some uh, steel ingots. So that we can can do that, but I'll be doing that uh, in between episodes so that you don't have to watch me hold down the craft button on the crafting bench uh, for half an hour or something, because that's pretty dang boring. So, all right, so that's that, and let's see, we have some iron ore here. Mm -hmm. That's 600 of those, of that. And then 600. Yeah, we don't have quite have space, but we could put just, uh, just put 100 rods in those. There. So we have 600, uh, what's it called? Iron ore. And then we'll run over to our coal power. And grab some coal ore, or just some coal, I guess, not coal ore, uh, just some regular old coal. And we'll, I'll craft up some uh, steel ingots for us to work with. And so let's see one, two, three, four, six hundred. So that should give us. 400 uh, steel ingots as it's three to two so yeah let's just verify that yeah 400 steel ingots all right i'll craft those and in the next episode we'll be hopefully be ready to uh, get going on setting up some automated steel production very very cool so thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, and I'll see you next time.